Okay, so you guys have been kind of loving this little mini series that I've been doing on my channel. It's top five at every position and seeing if they can go 82 and 0. In today's video, I think this position, the small forward position, has the absolute best chance of going 82 and 0. Now, if we take a look at this rotation, obviously, they, I do not have any like stamina on, so there's going to be no stamina, no team chemistry on. But I put LeBron at the one just because he's an amazing ball handler. He can really. I mean, he can bring the ball up court probably better than any of these guys. I mean, maybe KD, there's a little bit of an argument there. Uh, I put Paul George to shooting guard just because he actually used to play shooting guard. I know that. I put Carmelo at small forward just because I feel like he's a little bit less physical than Kawhi Leonard, who I did put at power forward for that reason because he is a little bit more physical. I just put Kevin Rant there because he is 6'9". Besides LeBron, he's the tallest, I believe. Oh, no, Paul George is 6'9", but he played shooting guard as well. So I just put Paul George there. And you know what? I was like, why not? So they're all getting 48 minutes. It's really honestly not going to matter because... It's, I'm not playing any games. It's not going to really matter who's the center. But let's see if this team can go 82 0. Out of all of them, I think this team definitely has the best chance. And we, I did put them on the Cavs in the Eastern Conference just personally because I think LeBron James is the best center. I've been doing that with all of these. I put like the shooting guards on the Rockets because I think James Harden is the best uh, shooting guard in the NBA, etc. etc. And we take a loss to the Raptors. Are, are you kidding me, 2K? Are you kidding me? Carmelo dropped 43. I, I hate when it does this automatically, and I can't. I don't know how to change it. I don't think it's possible. But Carmelo dropped 43. Freaking DeMar DeRozan and Kyle Lowry. All right, whatever. I guess they can't go 82 and 0. But now it's just down to can they win a championship? Uh, I hope we don't take any more losses. I mean, there was only what, like probably 15 games in, we took that first loss. Kind of annoying, but at the end of the day, I don't know. I've only gone 82 and 0 once, and we lose to the Celtics. Okay. Whatever, I'm not going to really get too worried about it. We might actually lose to the Warriors just because... Oh, okay, okay. These are not even updated rosters. Get get, get out of here. Get out of here. No. Oh, no. 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 Okay, that's complete bullshit. We might lose to the Warriors because we didn't take any of their actual good players this time. We actually don't end up losing to them, surprisingly. Uh, but somehow we can lose the 76ers, but not even the Warriors. And that I mentioned, these are not even the updated rosters, so they don't even have Ben Simmons. Well, oh my God, it's just, that's kind of annoying. But we're still ruling the Eastern Conference. Probably not going to be too much trouble at the end of the day. We'll probably still win a championship. I would imagine we'll probably have to face the Warriors. And we lose to the Timberwolves. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I hope we don't lose more games than like the shooting guards or the point guards there, because that would be pretty embarrassing. We lose to the Rockets. No biggie there. Uh, we beat the Warriors again. But I will be in the next coming days doing the final two positions, the power forward in the center. Um, I don't think that was actually our first trade offer. I don't think that either of those two positions can even go. I bet they lose like 10 games apiece, just honestly, because they can't dribble the ball up. They can't really bring the ball up, so they can't really shoot from outside with an occasional few of the power forwards like Kevin Love, who can shoot from outside. But I don't even know if he'll crack the top five. But. I'm still looking for more series to do. Uh, I need to get back to the rebuildings. I know there hasn't been one of those in a while. So I have to make sure I get back to those after I finish this up little mini series, I like to call it. But if you guys have any more suggestions for series, uh, I'd like to do kind of rebuilding challenges maybe at some point. If that would interest you, let me know that. Uh, the 76 is my gym is going strong. I'm loving that. Still having a great time with that. We're in the off season. So if you guys do not watch that, uh, make sure you go ahead and start from episode one and then go all the way to episode I think we're on. I will be recording 12 either later today or tomorrow. And then it's a great series. I love it. I think you guys love it. Uh, I hope you guys love it anyways. But we end the season on a 44-game win streak. LeBron is the MVP. Uh, Porzingis wins Rookie of the Year. LeBron also wins Defensive Player of the Year. And, of course, Tyron Lue wins the Coach of the Year. I don't really care too much about the awards. Let's see who got it done for us on this season with player stats. Uh, KD led us in scoring. He was playing center. Then LeBron. Then Paul George. I shouldn't. I feel like... I mean, I feel like K KD probably, should. I mean, I guess LeBron did have like two more assists than him, but I mean, only one more point. I don't know. Maybe KD should have won MVP, but end of the day, it really doesn't matter. Uh, there's nothing I can do about like James Jones and Iman Shumpert playing. It does that automatically. And honestly, I really don't care. Uh, we were 25 up on the second seeded heat. Let's see if we can sweep the Bulls in round number one. As I said, we were in the Eastern Conference, so it's a little bit easier, but we do drop one loss to the Bulls. We lost the Celtics earlier this year, and then we end up sweeping them. We're now taking on the Miami Heat, and we beat them in five. And let's go game by game with the OKC Thunder. And are we not even going to lose a game? Nope. All right, we, so we end up sweeping the OKC. Okay, say, 
OKC Thunder, and LeBron James is your Finals MVP along with the regular season MVP. So uh, I don't. I never actually told you guys who I think of the top five small forwards in the NBA. Uh, I think number one is LeBron, and then KD, then Kawhi, then Paul George, then Carmelo. Uh, more than welcome to disagree with me. It's kind of just my own opinion. I think most people have the same opinion as me, kind of. But hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did, make sure to drop a like down below. If you guys are new, make sure to subscribe. Also, as I said, make sure to let me know of any new series ideas you guys would let, like me to do. Um, thank you guys all for so much for the support lately. My channel has blown up since that video was Six Rings of Steel. And I just I did another one with King of the Fourth Quarter. Great video. You guys should definitely go check it out. Just want to give a huge shout out to him again because he did help me a whole lot. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I'll catch you guys all in the next one.